Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina and today I'm going to be doing a fall hits and miss video. I've never actually done a hit or miss video, just favorites. So this is going to be a new experience for me as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start sort of the way that I do my makeup. So starting with primers. The one that is a drugstore product that I absolutely love is this Baby Skin by, by Maybelline. It's just a couple of dollars. I want to say it's maybe eight or nine dollars. I know it's definitely below ten. The thing I love about the Baby Skin is that it is a very silicone primer, and that is the kind of primer that I absolutely love. I believe that it fills pores the best and makes them as minimal as possible. Now, the primer that I cannot stand, and I have used it only a couple of times, and I, I just hate it. It doesn't do anything for me. It is this e.l.f. Uh, clear primer. I know this was maybe six bucks. Ugh, it is like, it's lotion-y. It is very, oh, very runny. I don't know if you just saw that, but it. Like it came out just like, ugh, I hate it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's very, very watery, very runny. Um, ugh, it's gonna run down my finger. See, it looks like that uh, smells so strongly of perfume, and I definitely don't want that. Um, I just want a normal, smell-free base on my face. Um, this, this one's very also greasy. I know, I'm pretty sure this has SPF in it, which, I mean, some people could like, but makes it too oily and greasy for me because I'm a very, um, oily-skinned person to begin with. Next thing, I'm going to start with a foundation that I do not necessarily love. I don't hate this. Um, it's just too runny for me. It's this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I know a ton of people love it. Um, I am just a super... I need a full coverage foundation. And this is light to medium foundation and it just doesn't work for me whatsoever. The foundation that I have been using every single day however now is the Fenty Beauty Rihanna foundation. Um, this works miracles on my skin. If you haven't tried the Fenty line I 100% recommend that you use it. It is matte, it is full coverage, waterproof, well, I don't know if it's waterproof, um, I know it's sweat proof though, and I just love it, it stays on forever for me, um, the next things I'm going to move on to are concealers, um, the hit for me is actually, I found this at Ulta for like three bucks, uh, it is called the Liquid Camouflage High Cover Concealer by Catrice? Cat rice? It's spelled like cat rice, but it's probably Catrice. This stuff does wonders. This was just a couple of dollars. It is very pigmented, um, covers all of my flaws, super easy to blend. And for a couple of bucks, you just can't beat that. Uh, the, the concealer that I don't like um, is the NYX HD Studio concealer. I don't know why I, I don't know. It's, you don't get that much. You see what I'm saying? Like you have to work with it to get it to build up. And I don't think it blends, blends out that well. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have some NYX stuff in my favorites, I believe. One, yeah, I have a few, but this just didn't do it for me for whatever reason. Moving on to setting powders. Um, 
this has been ranted and raved about by so many beauty gurus on YouTube and other platforms and I know it was super cheap so I had to go out and try it for myself and I completely agree with what everybody else says about Aerosmith. So great. It is not too fine. It, and the thing that I like most about it is that it's like a tan color and it's not that just like a stark white. Um, this also blends in super amazingly, makes your skin feel super soft. Um, and it smells good. I think it smells good. Now, the setting powder that I do not like um, is this e.l.f. one. Um, as you can see how fine that it is. It moves like water in this. It is so thin that I don't think it does that much for me personally and it's also so white that I'm afraid that it'll leave flashback and it just makes me look super pale and I'm not trying to look super pale all right let's see bronzers now I'm gonna start with the one that I do like this is the Sephora bronzer in the shade Los Cablos I use this as my contour. I am not a super strong contour kind of person, so I just like that nice um, matte, light, little, don't want anything dramatic. And this is amazing. Not only is it super soft, the color is amazing, blends out extremely well, and even though it's from Sephora, it wasn't that expensive. I want to say maybe it was like 16 bucks or something like that. Um, and I know that is a higher priced item for a lot of people. But I just wanted to splurge on something nice. Um, <clears throat> the bronzer, that is so gosh awful, is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Now, I don't know if it... It was the shade that I got or what I mean that it is orange to me it is straight up orange it is super sharp when you put it on I remember the first time I tried to wear it I just wouldn't blend out it was a total disaster and not to mention can you see all this fallout like look how chalky it is just from my finger not even like there's so much caked on my finger now. It is ridiculous. Um, I know this is only a couple of dollars. Um, not worth it in my opinion. Don't even bother. Now, <clears throat> moving on to eyeshadows. This is, I found two very interesting good products in a location where I would not have thought to have found them. Um, I mean, this first one, this LA Girls Nudes, I'm sure you can find it other places than where I found mine, um, but I found this at Hot Topic. Um, I shopped there for body jewelry and just happened to stumble across this and another palette that I'm going to show you in a second that is actually way better than I thought it would be. Now, these colors, sorry it's messy, but these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um... Uh, let me swatch one for you. Look, it's so creamy, so pigmented, blends amazingly, has barely any fallout. <sighs> How much did I pay for this? $9.50. Pretty good. Now, the next one that I found, I actually got, um, here we go. I got four my Halloween costume that I'm going to be doing but um, so I needed it for the colors and I thought oh it's just for Halloween it doesn't have to be amazing um, it is a Disney Lilo and Stitch eyeshadow palette it's called Ohana um, this was $16.90 it's just so cute and the colors First of all, look how cute this mirror is. It's in, the, in, it's in the shape of stitch. But these colors 
are insane. I have never been one for very colorful eyeshadow, but like I said, I got this for my Halloween costume. But let me just swatch one of these colors for you. Killing it, hot topic. Um, not gonna lie though, they when you first swatch them, they come off a little chalky. Um, like, hold on. You see what I mean? But the second you blend it, it turns into this amazing creamy product that blends to whatever you want. Um, you can build it up super easily. See how much that's building up? But yeah, this was a definite hit for me. I couldn't believe that a Hot Topic Disney makeup product was, I mean, of course it's not the best thing on the planet, but way better than I actually expected it to be. Mist for eyeshadows is this, these Wet n Wild um, color icon like compacts with the eight of them. These are extremely patchy, almost no pigmentation. I can't get over it. Um, because some of their eyeshadows I actually live for. Like, what? What do you mean? And it almost blends away into like nothing. There's no pigmentation there. It's not worth it. Okay, so eyeliner. This is um, a gel waterproof eye pencil by the brand Essence. This is in the shade Urban Jungle. Now, I got this, I want to say, for like 98 cents from Ulta. This is one of the most pigmented, creamiest eyeliners color eyeliners at least that I have found in so long um first of all it's a twist up which is amazing um second ninety-eight cents are you kidding me come through essence yes now two other color eyeshadows that just didn't do it for me is the elf um, cream eyeliner in this pot. Uh, the color that I got is this gorgeous, like, tealy, sparkly color. Um, came with this little tiny brush. Let me just show you. First of all, it's so clumpy on the brush. Can you see that? That is ridiculous. Second of all, there's no pigment. I mean, it's so sheer. Okay, it looks kind of good on the camera, but um, in real life, when you try and put it over your eyeshadow, nothing. You can't see it at all. And this brush is so hard to work with, and I'm not one for, like, pot eyeliners, so I don't have any other brushes that I can use for it. So every day, like, it's not even worth it for me. Not worth it. The other one that I got is by Hard Candy. It's this white, it's, it's this white stay in line mechanical gel eyeliner. Um, it's in the shade of pearl white and it looks pretty pigmented on like in the tube, but when you go and swatch it and try and wear it, What's that gonna do? What is that for? This is six dollars. Uh, uh. Where is your color? I just don't get it. Don't get it. Not worth it. <sighs> Stresses me out. Also, one good thing about the Essence eyeliner, the jungle one that I showed you, it's so like stain or doesn't stain, but. It's hard to get off, so it's not going to just come off. Like, I'm literally scrubbing it, and it's still, 
won't come off. Um, so yeah, 98 cents, Essence, come through, killing it. Um, now, um, for lip products, for like lipsticks and stuff, I don't actually have any, oh yeah, I do, miss. <laughs> It is actually this Forever 21 Velvet Lipstick Crayon. Um, so splotchy. I mean, this is a color. It looks good on, like, in swatches. But the moment you put it on your lips, if it is dry, if your lips are dry even a tiny, tiny bit, like, mm, forget it. It's going to be cracked. It's going to be splotchy and miss places in completely and it's so dark that when that happens it is so obvious and looks awful and disgusting and it's so dark that you can't get it off so I ended up I put it on the other day and unfortunately I put it on right before I was about to go out and couldn't get it off so I literally had to take a different more pigmented lip liquid lipstick and put it on over and wasn't cute and totally regret that now I have a ton of hits for lip products I have one two three four five I have six um, some of them are easy to talk about because like these two are the same um, these are the wet n wild liquid cat suit no I actually bought these thinking that it was the same as my favorite lip, lip oh, my favorite liquid lipstick, which is the NYX Lingerie. Um, don't know why I thought they were the same, um, but I'm glad I did because they're pretty amazing. I think I have one of these somewhere too. I have so many liquid lipsticks, it is a joke. I can't even find it right now. Um, but yeah, so I got this shade. Missy and Fierce, and I don't have any like red liquid lipsticks right now. All of mine are like pink, and I just need a red one. And look how beautiful that is! Look how pigmented, it's not splotchy whatsoever. Um, I do like the Wet n Wild lipsticks because I mean, that, that was four bucks. Can't go wrong. Um, also, I got this blue one in the shade Boo Blue. Um, this is for my mermaid costume. Um, but once again, like I know it's hard to do such bright colors like this, but whoa, whoa. I'm afraid to put it on my lips right now. I haven't done that yet um, just because I don't know if it's going to stain and I have things to do later so um, I am going to film a My Mermaid look though um, once it gets closer to Halloween. Um, I'm also going to be having a zombie look coming soon. I got some cool stuff for that. Um, my next hit for uh, lip products are two lipsticks this one once again is by wet n wild I don't know what wet n wild does with their lip products but they are amazing and they are so cheap like this was 98 cents and I have a kajillion of them like um hold on still coming like that's all I can find right now but 98 cents yes um, this shade I got though is in the shade Black Orchid. Um, I come late fall, winter, I'm very into dark red, almost purplish lipsticks. And this one is it beautiful. It's like almost like a burgundy. I'm gonna put this on right now. I messed up that side, but whew, perfect. 
perfect, 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 perfect. Um, and they're so creamy too. I don't get how they do that. Um, the next product is also by Essence. Um, it is this long lasting, oh, I just noticed this has an E on it. Cute. Um, but this, I just needed like a nudier nude. All my, um, nude lipsticks are very pink. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up and super creamy, actually long lasting. I want to say this was like a dollar. Amazing. Essence. Killing it. All right. Let's see. Now the. The last thing I want to talk about is this random glitter section. Um, I don't have any misses at the moment uh, because I am a glitter fanatic and love everything glitter. So the first thing that I do want to talk about is the NYX Glitter Brilliance Face and Body. These are beautiful. They're so pigmented. The only problem with them is... You need glitter glue, I believe, and I do not have any glitter glue at the moment. Um, so I literally just kept spraying my brush, dipping it in, putting it on my eyelid. Um, it did work, like it looked beautiful. The only um, other problem is that I could not get liquid eyeliner over it. I just couldn't. Um, same with... This is actually another Hot Topic product as well. It is the Uni Glitter Cosmetic Glitter Gel. Um, this is amazing as well. Um, it's not actually like pigment. You see it's like an actual like gel. Um, this is amazing, but it's hard to like spread and put exactly where you want it, you know, because it's like so chunky and jelly. Um, it also does not come off. It doesn't come off. I literally had to scrub my face like 12 times just to get the glitter off and it is like was still there. So, I mean, if that's what you like, then perfect. Um, but if not, uh, this was also only 10 bucks for like the whole big jar. I've used it a few times practicing my mermaid looks and um, I still is literally still full. Um, the next two glitters are these Wet n Wild, um, I don't know exactly what they're called, glitter singles. Um, I have the brass shade and the spiked shade. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, they don't actually come off super pigmented like they look. Um, let's see. And I've also found it's better to like cake your finger in it and then sort of do like a tapping to get it exactly um, where you want it and it won't mess up your makeup that way. It also dries down. Like it starts off a little tacky. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you're completely done with your makeup before um, you add this. I always just put it around my eyes, um, sort of on my forehead sometimes, uh, depending on my occasion. Alright guys, well, sorry this video was so long, um, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I have quite a few more videos coming out for October, so you don't want to miss those. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys.